Hey, hey, it's James from Feeding Electrical, and on today's video, we're doing some testing on this bridge. Look at that. Right at Middle of York. I'm gonna test this little cafe. Let's get into this. Yeah, back is not great. Ooh, double yellows. <laughs> Went to get in then, so it's a bit of an operation, isn't it, Brian? Oh, yeah, so we're yeah. packed up at the moment. It says so we've got to wait for this guy to come. We've got two hours to do this, so we've got two of us in just to whisk through it all. Um, there's two little boards, I've got little pictures of it. We're gonna try and get it all done, so it should be pretty interesting. All right, let's get shifted then before we uh, we block all traffic. <laughs> all right, then I'm trying to find somewhere to park. It's a fortune in New York, it's like 15 quid for a day or something. So uh, let's find the nearest car park. That brings a tear to a Yorkshireman's eye. Look at that, four to five hours, fifteen fifty. Twenty quid over five hours. <laughs> Crazy. So I've dropped them two off then, so uh, and I drove past the way, scuttled in, so the guys finally arrived. So they'll be cracking on straight away, because we've only got two hours to do this test. So, we've got two options then to get there. We can go through the park, we've got the park walk, and we've got the river walk. What should we go for? The park walk does have squirrels that run up to you, and uh, they're not even bothered. Because of all the tourists and that. They just come right up to your hand and stay out of your hand. It's nuts. Literally nuts. And we've got the river walk. Just a river. Yeah, I'll go the, we'll do the park. Look, there's a squirrel. And it's locked. <laughs> right, river walk it is. There we go. York Riverside. This guy's having a nice little little road to work. <laughs> That's pretty cool, isn't it? Oh. So yeah, this goes along the side of the park then. It's a nice little, uh, yeah, it's a nice little frosty morning. It's dropped cold, it was the first time I was colder than that yesterday. I was like, oh no, winter's coming. Winter's here. And there we go, made it back to the bridge then. So we'll get in the cafe then, help those lads out. Well, we've got Brian today, Jonah's just started then. So he's just starting college in October. So there we go. <clears throat> yeah, we've got him for some, some manpower to bring all the stuff back to the van. It's a bit of a trek. There we go. This is what we're testing then. So Brian's downstairs then. <coughs> he's, he's cracking on. Nice little thing there, look. A little uh, curly whirly into a little top room. It's like uh, oh, it's tight, look. <laughs> Did you fit downstairs, Brian? Just about. <laughs> yeah, <there. laughs> yeah, yeah, we're getting on there. Sure. Yeah, I've just feel filled in what we're, what we're missing. We're just going to start on. Don't ask yeah. the knee side for this, we're just going to do socket side now. Sent Jonah up to sound then. Plug in. Yeah. So, yeah, so I'll, I'll, I'll run around do a visual, make sure there's no cracks, switches, cracks, sockets. We're looking for verif verification of connections, we're looking for singles ex it's exposed, that shouldn't be. So I'll have to check if that's double insulated or not. Looking for the correct cable size, for, for the correct breaker size. What else, Bri? Holes, that's it, holes in holes in boards, holes in the plastic boards and that, yeah. <clears throat> this is the visual stuff we kind of been looking out for. And then the natural testing then. That's where we're gonna send voltages down the cables. It's called insulation resistance. That'll tell if if uh, how how much the insulation is broken down by. And then there's a test called continuity test, and that's make sure everything's got an earth. And that is safe really, that's how you dead test. And then the live test then we've got the uh, we've got to make sure we've got good earth coming in. So we do a, a ZE, we'll show you how to do that. RCD test, make sure that we get the, the land within certain tolerance, tolerances, so the tripping time. And uh, Brian's pointing one out. 
ACD time. Yep, that's the ACD test. Sweet, right, let's crack it on. Right, so we're doing an insulation resistance test then, so we're banging on that, insulation resistance. So, we've just been going down the line then, just disconnect the neutral. Obviously, with the line off, it's disconnected from the rest of the, of the other circuits. Uh, so yeah, we've popped it out, done a test. So we're getting like greater than 200. If you look, it's it's all uh, new cabling. So it's only recently we've done it past five years. But yeah, so we're getting uh, greater than 200 for everything, apart from this circuit for number one. That that coming out with 80 ohms. But if you look at this one, then this is coming out and I'll put out three. So there's something probably plugged in on that, which we'll have to look into then. Right, it's giving a quite a low reading. So generally when we're getting like RCD faults and things are tripping out, it's because you get those type of readings of less than one meg. So we'll have to actually investigate into that uh, and see what's going on. So we'll have to unplug everything on that circuit. Um, Cause we've got loads of like fridges and stuff like that. So it's most likely some some old fridge that's causing that bad reading. So yeah, all them, all them readings then just banging here then. So obviously we, you've got your circuit number then, sorry, circuit details here. Type of wiring, uh, conductor size, the, the actual breaker it's run by. And then you've got, uh, if it's a ring, we'll have to do a ring test, we'll show you that in a bit. And then insulation resistance bangs in here. So it's a 250 test voltage and a lot of them are giving greater than 200. Then we've got RCD tests and use it max ZS. So we'll show you how to do that. So the only issue so far then is this, we've got three cables in one there. So it hardly gets tight. Plus that'll, two of those be a part of a ring. So where you wire from the fuse board all the way around and back. So you've got two cables, you've got two lines. The other one will be a random radial going somewhere. <clears throat> so obviously if that goes off to a socket and then another socket somewhere, then uh, basically that single cable can only take 27 amps. So if it's running at 30 amps, it's going to set on fire. So obviously that, that is a bit of a, a fire risk then. So the whole point of testing is to stop electrocution and uh, and fires. So yeah, I'll have to bob that down then if, uh, if it does more than one socket. So we've got one of the circuits off, which is the sockets. So there's two cables in there, so that should be a ring. So we've got, we've got Master Jonah going around, haven't we? Oh yeah. <laughs> the young lad. So yeah, he's going around just checking what's dead, because that's the only circuit off at the moment. So anything dead will be on that circuit. So it's two on this new, on this uh, neutral bar then. So I'll whip that out then. I ain't got any long nose pliers. I'll have to do it like that. And then, find the earth for that circuit so it should be one two three four down uh looks like they've done it this way aren't they one two three so it should be that one we'll have to do an end to end so <clears throat> essentially because the sockets go from fuse board all the way around and back you'll have three cars going all the way around going throughout your circuits so at your fuse board you've got your three conductors live earth neutral so it should get continuity if the good connections all the way around all the way around for line earth and neutral so brian's got me a crocodile clip which is good so we're going to put that in continuity also make sure your test is nulled to not point they're not quite so we're going to, we're going to zero the test leads make sure it's not point not not There we go, cool. It's all going wrong. <laughs> Get this over my head. So we'll do end to end then, so we've got line to line. I'm gonna do a test. Oh my goodness. Can't use these. So no two, one then, so for line. And for neutral, test that. Not point two well is the reading we'll do for that. So you can press it on, not what not make it fall off until it lights off again. <laughs> No, put two nine. <clears throat> so now what we're gonna do then, it's called a crossover test. So we're gonna find the incoming line. That's a tiny one, not the same one like that before. Uh, I'm gonna find the incoming line to the outgoing earth. It's got plenty of, let's see which one wiggles. They're both wiggling, <laughs> lovely. Which is that one? That's that one, so. What we're going to do is do the crossover, so incoming lines, the outgoing earth, like so. And then we're going to do the opposite then. So we're going to do this one to that one. And then we're going to go around all the dead sockets then and get a reading. So the highest reading we're going to write in there. Right then, so these are live then. Let's test these. So that does this, that, and that. I isolate some sockets behind for the fridges. Continuity. 
Do the test. 0 0.29. 0.30. So again, we're going to go around and get the highest reading then. So there we go. So that just does the coffee area, but we'll check up here. Trying to see if there's any sockets up here anywhere. A little star in a turret. How cool is this? Look at that. I don't know if you can see that one there. Okay. But yeah, so we're just going to go around then. So the only seven points there, 9.31. So we're going to round that in for the hour now. Two reading. So hour one, big hour one is your line. Big hour two is your earth. So that's what that is. So we're going to write down the highest reading. If we got like something that was like a massive difference, like not point, I don't know, seven, one were one of them, you'd be like, right, there's some, like a loose connection or like a like a, a spur off a spur off a spur off the ring. Um, but yeah, because they're all like within not point, not five of each other, or not point one of each other, the, it's not too bad. So right then, let's write them in and then that's the socket circuit done. So yeah, we're just testing the lighting now then, so the shop lights, so we turn one of them off, it does those down lights there, they're on a dimmer. So the dimmer's just got loads of electronics and with the power off, it won't actually make the line go all the way through to the light. So what we're gonna do is just turn the dimmer off. So that's gonna connect the permanent live to switch live, which means that at your light, you have some weird resistance running through this. You will have a, a direct link all the way to the light. So when we pull out those lights and test at them, we should get some decent readings. Hey, hey, we've got the long slog back now. So we've got that finished. Yeah, we're a bit, bit full on, wasn't it, Brian? We went to get all, all uh, what were the, how many circuits? Uh, 17, I think, in total. 17 circuits we had to get done in a, in a couple of hours. So me and Brian were just racing through it. Now, a lot of companies test within an hour. How do, how yeah. do, they, how do they do with that? Van job, innit? Van job. I think they just write down the schedule and write down the results in the, uh, just make it up <laughs> it's bad isn't it yeah. but yeah we, we, we test it all properly every, every, every light got um got r -toed. oh we were just trying the path <laughs> yeah every, every, every light got checked over we've got all the sockets tested so there, there weren't many issues there was there no, what was no. there there was like a hole in a socket yeah, I um so we're just gonna gun jet up and then that'll be that'll be us done really how do you find that jonah have you learnt little bits that's yeah, where we're running around right. so jonah did a great job taking off a few wheat of spurs and getting to test didn't you so this is, what's this? A little puffin, puffin rescue squad. And there we go. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Yeah, look at that, we've got an owl. Check that. Right, Bird of prey. Got to hold an owl, Jonah. I'm alright. I'm alright. <laughs> nah, do it though. They're funny, these little squirrels, aren't they? They come up to you. So, but yeah, that was a, a job well done, wasn't it? So Brian's now, where are you, what are you doing? Uh, socket removal and fire disconnect. So socket removal, fire disconnect. And I am somewhere else, I'd have to check my calendar. Middlesbrough, is it? Oh yeah, I'm in Middlesbrough. I'm back at the... Oh, oh. offices. But yeah, it was that one where we had the 600 by 600 with emergency and we couldn't swap it over because it was an emergency. So every time they turn the lights off, it just, it just goes ping and turns off. Shoulders hurt, don't they? Yeah. After this. Does it hurt your shoulders? Yeah, after a while, it's not. Is he carrying? Oh, he's got, he's got an area. Uh, yeah, yeah. He's got his, he's got his tester and he's got his ladders. So if you know, it's off you, carry this if you want. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, lovely yeah. views through the park. This one's rocking to the middle, middle bank somewhere. <laughs> there we go, full circle moment where we couldn't get in this morning. Crikey, these, these lads don't know where I'm going. <laughs> They're following me. It's like the blind leading the blind. <laughs> Look at that, live life on the veg, mate. Live life on the veg. Like it, yeah, we did a, we did like a little band shoot down here. Came to you, came to your whip band. And we're there, running down here, getting some shots, some action shots. What's the video called? What's the video called? Don't know what the video, what, this one? No, the teeny tiny cafe testing. What do, what do you think we should call the video, mate? I'll, I'll let you decide this week. John decided this would be interesting. Working with me. <laughs> Working with me. <laughs> Working with Jonah. All right then. <laughs> I'm sure that'll get lots of views. Definitely. Working with Jonah. Yeah, the boy, it was just new. Amazing post. Come on then. Let's, let's, let's have Jonah on a thumbnail next oh, next no to, next way. to the cafe. No way. Like a little a little Jonah and then a, a, a testing equipment around his neck. Hello. Oh, there we go. <laughs> that's the thumbnail. 
Three hours, 21 minutes, 12 pound 40. <laughs> what do you think of that? I don't know, that gets paid quick for a charge. Yeah, that's, that's, that's going off his wage. Jordan never falls asleep in the van, do you? Yeah, no. Never, never. So we've got, we've got, we've got three, in the, three in the bed today, the little one said. I don't go to sleep. <laughs> I don't go to sleep. <laughs> so we're done then. So we've got three of us going back then. So it makes sense to um, back up at my house and then drive in with one van. So uh, what do you mean, like 25 quid for parking for two of us? Crazy, really. And then you won't build, you, you, obviously, you tested for a good half an hour, 20 minutes, didn't you, whilst I yeah. went off? So, uh, yeah, that nice little top tip if you're working in Middle of York, then. So, yeah, it's a bit of a nightmare, isn't it? So, yeah, so people do full kit outs, and I don't even know how they do it. Like, luckily, but when, when we did the the suit shop, if you remember that one where they had the, the Star Wars marching band going past, uh, yeah, we, we had some parking for that. Um, no, it was the office kit out we had the parking for. So, yeah. But yeah, so what we've done then. So you saw we did a, a socket circuit, the insulation resistance, so it has to be. We've got three in the, three in the bed today, the little one turned. I don't go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> and then you saw we've got nice low readings then. And you don't want massive differences between the readings when you're going around. If not, that could be like a, well, indicate a bad connection in the back or a spur for spur for spur, something like that, which you can't have. Uh, what else were there? And then there was, just a, there was just a hole in the back box, wasn't there? Yeah, that's it really. So the tunnel will knock out, they've knocked it out, put the cable through. Uh, so it's not landed or out, but that need, it, if we shove a, compre a compression grill land in there, that'll pass. So nice and easy then. So, what should we call this jo this video, Jonah? What do you think? Because uh, everything perfect, were perfect. The perfect test. The perfect yeah. test, right, we'll go with that. The perfect test featuring Jonah. Down there. So that's all we've got time for today. So if you like this kind of content, hit the like button, hit subscribe, hit the little bell not notification so you know when we next upload. So as always, have a good one from me. We've got Jonah, we've got Brian, and we'll see you on the next one. Oh, we've got a learner in front. We love a learner. He's nearly crashing into me.